Part of the issue people have with takeoffs is that they overthink the process. Um, I like to say that airplanes fly themselves better than we fly them, and that's especially true on takeoffs. Have you seen a perfect takeoff? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. I have never seen a perfect takeoff. Let's see. Everything is nice and smooth, uh, nothing aggressive, nothing jerky, and uh, clean break from the ground, accelerate, climb out at 80, in my case. I guess that's the perfect takeoff. Perfect takeoff for me is going to be a takeoff that's well managed and safe. See, I like Simon's answer better. Just scrap <laughs> mine. I, that, that's the right answer if there is one. If your goal is to be perfect on speed, on attitude, on heading, everything else with the takeoff, you're going to be working really hard. And it's going to take you a long time to get there. The, uh, the engine failure is what we're all worried about. What we're all bad at is directional control. You come on, uh, line up with the center line, and one important thing to remember is to get the nose wheel straight before you add power. Uh, on a 100 foot wide runway, on a 75 foot wide runway, it may not seem like it makes a difference, but it does when you're trying to take off on a 20 foot wide runway or something that for all intents and purposes looks like a sidewalk. The biggest thing I see on nose wheel aircraft is yaw control. What I notice is the feet are lazy. Basic things, like when we add power, you know, we're going to need right rudder Y because the nose will yaw to the left Y because of torque. So what do we do? We add right rudder. So be ready with the right rudder, but don't over control. And then as we transition nose up, isometric thrust comes into play. So now we need even more right rudder on takeoff. The biggest issue, uh, as Jonathan has already expressed, it, it's the yaw control. Uh, we tend to be left of center. Uh, when we depart the runway, we tend to be skewed sideways because we're using aileron to try and correct rather than rudder to correct. Once you break ground, you know that you want to establish a pitch attitude that will result in a speed uh, that gets you close to VY. So, um, if you've flown that airplane before or with any sort of experience, you should know about what that pitch attitude is. A takeoff is a visual maneuver, no doubt about it. So you're looking outside. Of course, instruments help you verify that your attitude is in the correct place, that your wings are in the correct place, that your speed's the correct value, and so what you do is look outside most of the time and then quick inside verifications on those instruments. The big secret is you need to be thinking ahead. So that starts when you apply power. Um, you're thinking progressively farther in advance, so it's, okay, am I going to make this take off, am I going to abort this take off, and you know those parameters ahead of time, so there is no ambiguity once you're on the runway. You've broken ground, okay, if something happens now, what am I going to do? Am I going to land straight ahead? Am I going to try and climb out? Depends on the problem, obviously. One of uh, every pilot's biggest fears is an engine failure on takeoff, and understandably so, because you don't have a lot of altitude to work with. And one of the ways to combat that is with a takeoff plan. Um, professional pilots are excellent at this. They have defined parameters in each part of the takeoff where if something will happen, they will take a certain action. And we can replicate that type of attitude, not necessarily to the, to the uh, specificity that they take or to the degree that they take, but um, the process by which they go by. So um, that's things like if you have an engine problem on the rollout, if you have one right after breaking ground, if you have one at 300 feet, 500 feet, whatever the numbers are. And every airplane and every pilot is gonna have a, a different standard for this. Getting the takeoff right is important because if you think in terms of energy, um, the takeoff has a lot of energy. We're at full power. We might not be very fast, but we've got a ton of power. And uh, as we leave the ground, of course, we're, um, we're very close and there are lots of hard things that we could hit, which is not what we want to do. So um, the tolerances are lower. Um, when you're at altitude and something happens, you have time, um, you have options, but that's not really the case with takeoff. And that's why you have to have a plan going into it. I think an easier route and uh, honestly, probably a better route is to say, okay, I'm going to take off on or about this speed, I'm going to establish this pitch attitude, and I'm going to climb out on or about this speed after the pitch attitude establishes that speed.